Well, look at that beautiful sun coming out. It's gonna be a nice day and it's a great day for a river float. And I mean float on a, what do you call this thing? This is a river rat. On the river rat. I mean, Julio over here, we, uh, we've been trying to get together again for a while. And uh, last time we fished together, was up in the mountains. Yeah, it was. And he caught a nice small mouse. He's taking me down a creek that he fishes a lot, but this is actually a new section. So we're gonna go float down this thing uh, here in uh, North Georgia and hopefully catch some good fish. I think it's gonna be fun. Mm, mm. That's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> it's got a little more flow than you think it didn't realize if you're not looking. Oh, that's probably a little spot. Hey, we're on. You ready to do this? Oh, yeah. We're gonna get some fish. And this is kind of high water, too. Maybe I'll move a little quicker once we're in the current. There we go. Yes. I didn't know he's on nice. there. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, that was good. We barely got in here. We even got past our launch okay, spot. Good. That's good news. And he had the spinnerbait too, so yeah, yeah, we're happy about that. <laughs> a little large mouth. Yeah, spinnerbait, that's a reaction strike. Now this looks like the kind of saga here. Yeah. Rock bass. Big rock bass. A, big, a huge rock bass. Oh, no, we gotta that thing. Goodness. I thought it was a big fish. <laughs> ah. oh, it fell off. That wow, that was a that was a good, really good rock bass. Two fish. Yeah, two fish and we're just getting into it. So dude, those shoals that we you know, yeah. they're gonna be fish there. That's gonna be awesome. This is only the second time I've ever been on one of these kind of things. And it was pretty fun. I like how they, cause they can just kind of, yeah, you just you bounce, you kind of pop off of things. Just watch your, uh, watch. As long as you don't lose a oar or a fishing pole, we'll be all right. I mean, I, I think as the day warms up, like, well, well, probably the best fishing would be like in the afternoon after it got warm, but. I'm sure, I mean, I don't know. For, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, in my head, this is 10 hours. I'll just be stopping There we go. Fishy? Yeah. What I got here? Rock bass. Another mm -hmm. big rock bass. No, they don't make them little in here. Mm -hmm. Nice. It, com it comes with a microphone built into it. And it's more, it's a directional mic. Mm -hmm. There's a fish. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's a rock bass. I just swam off. He hit over there and swam. That's a big rock bass, though. Yeah. Dude. I'm measuring it. Let's see. Let's just get it on the, get on the board. board man. Just see what we're looking at here. Ooh, man. He's almost nine. It's nice. We find, we plan on getting a bunch of these guys today. Let me jump out here. I will if you hit it. All right, so this raft's really cool. We've having a, we've only been out here less than what? Let me see, 45 minutes, if, if that. So it's been an awesome start to the day. I've been throwing around a little yum swimming dinger and a spinner bait, and I've caught fish on both. But we're gonna stop at some spots like this and just kind of hit these areas that are shallow and a little current, float, hit some more spots. We plan to be a long day, so I think it's gonna be really fun. Just had a fish bite my tail off of that, so I'm gonna change it up. And uh, I may change a few lures, but they seem to be a little bit active. Hopefully we're gonna find a spot where there's like, you know, they really start getting good. And it's still early today. I think a, I think a lot of good fish are coming. You know, like, oh, they're only hitting this lure. Which that's not always true. There's always something eating anything. Got him. Oh. Rock bass. Spot. Is it? Oh, that's a nice spot. Huh? That's a nice fish. He's, look Is up. it a red eye? Ooh. Um, you know what? There's a lot of that is that is. Uh, he's at least part Kusa bass, red eye. Look at the white tips on his 
tail fin. Yeah, look at his, look at the eye. Yeah, the, the silver eye. There's a lot of hybridization. He's, in and there. he's got a toothpaste, which I think they already have. That's a good one though. Here, the that's a good fish. I like those. Ooh, you know what? I might I might have to go to a little crank better something way as active as some of these fish are. Maybe towards the end, the little rebel crawl or something like that. Did you watch him eat? Uh, I can't remember if I saw him or not. I think I saw him right at the end. Like, there he is again. He's still oh, carrying he it. I thought he, I thought his nest was up there, but I, I don't know where his nest is. I saw him eat. That's a rock bass. Like yeah. <laughs> he didn't even. He's like, okay, going for a run. <laughs> he just gave up right away. He's like, all right, you got me. I ski him on there and there. Like when they're big like that, they got those black tips. Yeah. Look how wide those bodies are. He's healthy. <laughs> I got to kill a few of them though, let these bats in. I know. Yeah. Well, all right, I'm about to retire. One more cast, I'm retiring while we're going through here. Well, that cast didn't work too good. Good one. Good one. Good fish. Good fish. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got it. I got it. You got him? Easy, easy. Let me work him out for a second. Good smallmouth. Uh, all right. Oh, he took good. He took good. He took good. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, I'll turn around here and get a picture of it in just a second. Check this out. <laughs> That's a 17 inch smallie. Look how broad he is. Oh, I almost I almost was about to stop and retie. We just came down this long, slower section. There's a spinnerbait over there. And when these guys hit, you know it. I'm going for the Georgia Slam and and smallmouth is one of the hardest ones to get probably in Georgia. And I just got it. So we got a picture of him. That's my third fish on the Georgia Slam. If I get a largemouth would help, but these guys are just hard to find in Georgia. And that is a solid fish. With the everyday angler. That's right. <laughs> Don't forget, subscribe to Julio Everyday Angler. His little, uh, I would've never gone through here probably without him uh, getting me to go through. And this little float, him actually, he let me get it. Cause if he, he's guiding, and I'm getting the cast, so this is the best. Hopefully we'll get him on some fish and I'll get to do a little rowing. Got him on there. Beautiful North Georgia smallmouth. That's a rare catch, John. That was awesome. Thanks to Julio. I think we can ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. I think we can call it a video now. That's right. We're almost done. We're only an hour in. It's awesome. Like if literally all you need is the internet and you'll be able to find all these spots. You have to put you have to you definitely I mean you have to put it together. If, if that's your only goal, like just to find a certain area around you or within an hour. Oh, oh, what is that? Spot. Another smallie. Another little smallie. Nice. Another one on the spinner. That's the, proof that they're smallmouth though. There's definitely good, uh, I think a good population of them in here. A yeah. Giant. Who <laughs> goes back there taking pictures for my thumbnail and I actually catch a fish? Well, early be breaking into the dew, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Thank you. All right, move. I'm moving. Oh. Through the slow water. That's right. Uh, he's caught enough fish today. <laughs> Get out of there. I'm gonna see if I can't. All right, let's see how I can operate this thing. I'm gonna try to work from back here. And I like this big rack he's got on. That's really cool. But let's pull the anchor up and float down. See if who can cast and uh, get a fish. This right here looks like a winter hole. Oh, oh. Broke something there. Right there. 
pull off and a half right there. It's cool. Fish on. Get him in, get him in. What's that? Oh, yeah. Dude, I gotta get an anchor system for my kayaks. I keep saying I'm gonna do that. I haven't set nothing on it. Or I can go into a spot like this and just sit there. They're aggressive. Yeah, that's why I sat here. I was, I was like, there might be a couple fish here. This this whole area looks good. There he is. Dude, that, that was fighting. That's a good rock bass. Oh, that's nine, nine and a half. That's still a big rock bass. Nice. I'm rowing a little bit back here. So I've been rowing and for Julio to catch the cast, he's, he's caught fish on a fly rod and on spin, my spinning rod. And uh, it's just, I can't, I can't get enough of this, how awesome this area it is. And it's one of those, those creeks or big creek, little river, whatever you call it. And it goes through town, sorta, but you don't realize how much woods it goes through and just how much out of the way we can't even hear roads or cars or anything oh man i'm starting to feel it my arms i don't know how he does it rowing all the time but we put in uh over here a little spot we're gonna fish some shoals we've got a couple of really good shoals coming up hopefully fish them we're still trying to get him he's still trying to get a small mouth that was one of the main goals of this video or uh, not this video this uh fishing trip in this area and i'm excited to fish some there's some like nice little rapids coming up they're gonna look really cool to fish so Let's see if we can get on them. There we go. Whoa! Oh my! Giant chub! That thing was huge. Look at those shiners jumping up down there. Coming upstream. Dude, if I wish I had a camera to get a zoom in on that. Is that fish jumping or is that just? Yeah, I saw them. They are jumping, yeah. Look, something's on my line. I get it, finally got it. Wow. A giant rock bass? Small mouth. What the? He bit super, super slow. Like they, I had to really let it sit there. I knew there'd be a fish here, but he took for, I cast in that section 15 times probably. Was getting some little bitty bites. Got me another small mouth. That's what I was wanting. It was a little boy guy, but it's another smallie. Mm. Oh, this is a bigger drop than I thought. <laughs> Oh, there's a ledge. And... <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it goes so easy over that. That's crazy. Rock bass. Hey, littlest one today. They do have some littler ones. Huh? Solid one. Oh, good one. Oh pretty good one, pretty good one. Yes. John got another good one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. Oh man, what a day. What a half a day of fishing. <laughs> that's about a 15 inch. Uh, more like 14. Beautiful fish though. Dude, 14 inch, really thick. I love how like healthy these guys are. These are Here. good ones. Oh, oh wow, there's a big old rock going through. Is it ready to go? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. If it was any less, you wouldn't, <laughs> it'd be really bad. Well, we had to walk a couple sections, get some kind of some low uh, uh, rapids, but this place has been an awesome trip. This water's really uh, clear today. If it was any lower, it'd be really hard because we've barely gone over a few sections, but that, that float's pretty fine. I may have to look into those things. Dude! Oh my! I saw who come hit it, Biggin. Oh, oh yes! Dude, right in that shoals right there. Oh! Why was I? I should've stayed focused. Yeah, I didn't stay focused. He hit right in that shoals right there. He just hammered it. I was, mm. All right, well, that was, that was a good sign. The spinner ray is definitely been getting the bigger fit, or yeah, all the good fish. And uh, we still got some floating to do, but dang it, smallmouth are out today. Oh, you gotta have a, you gotta have a spot. You gotta have a place like I got access. Yeah, then nobody else. Does. Yeah. All right. all right, we're gonna go. We can do the short float, half day, a long day. Good one. Good one. Solid. Good one. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> You ready to switch now? Oh man. The, um, this is second. John's fourth nice smallie. And these are not nice like this little creek nice. These are <laughs> nice fish, period. These guys are fat and thick. Man, it's a good day. I'm gonna get one of those for my fly rod. That's what I want. I, need, I just need to access a little road down. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a nice little drop off here. Here we go! <laughs> Almost. Hold on. Let's see where the fish is. Let me catch a giant right here, real quick. You need another two inches of water. The shoals are so cool to just stop and fish these little areas. Where do you want to go? Are we going to just bottom out? Or what? Step out. Want to go down it? Ah, stuck. I can't get it. Turn it, turn it. I'm going down it. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> yes. Oh, fish that. I'll turn you around. Rock. I thought you had a small one. I had the camera rolling and everything. Check out this creek over here on the side coming in. That's what's so fun about kayaking areas. You get to see a lot of different things. I don't know where this creek's coming from because like half of it's coming out of the rock right there. And the other half is flowing out over here. Really fun. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We have floated about five hours. Julio, if you don't know, he's got a channel, The Everyday Angler. Yep. And uh, we've fished together a few times and we talk a lot about some of these places. And hopefully, we're going to, this summer, we'll get to into the, some more. And uh, that raft, that thing is so fun to go on. We went right over a bunch of rocks and there, things and uh, just went right through it. 
the quality of smallmouth were really good in here. That was one of the main goals. And I got my smallmouth for the Georgia Slam with their 10, 10 species of black bass yes. in Georgia. And we gotta get five, I think. We gotta get five. Gotta get five, and I've got, got at least five of them. So I'm ha happy about that. We got a little more floating to do. I might make another video out of that, I'm not sure. But this is gonna wrap it up. And just a great time. Thanks for watching.